All right, guys, here's our unit downstairs. I'm gonna walk out basement, easy access. Just go up that hill and there's a side entrance over there to get down in the basement. Got a humidifier they want us to keep. It's not in the best shape, so I may just go ahead and throw a humidifier in there. If we do that, I'll put in the checklist what we're doing. If we do that, we'll just put a cap on the saddle valve. We have a half inch shut off here. It looks like it's in better shape, so we should be able to shut that off, put a shut off in there. Or we have a shut off already in place here. Let's put a T fitting in here. Floor drain is here. We are limited on space. We only got about 19 inches in front of here, but there's not a whole lot we can do because the wall's already built here. So we're doing furnace only. So we've got a 40 inch tall furnace, it's 16 inches wide, five inches between the furnace. So I end up doing a new return drop coming down. Probably gonna do a new media filter, but we may end up facing it upwards. So the filter comes out this way if we don't have the room to go that way. Four inch flue. Oh, we have a louver door on this side. They're actually gonna take off the foam on there and the thermostat is here. So just going back with a basic thermostat. Get gas and flexible electric. AC and coil will stay as it is. So you got this entrance on this side and then you have another door to get around over there. All right, guys, here's your unit outside. New disconnect, new whip. Lines are gonna get flushed. Set the AC in this location. Already got a pad here. And access to get back, you gotta go up that little hill right there. The gate's on the side over there. And we got an entrance to the basement here.